Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will show you how to get Windows 7 look and functionality on your Windows 11. And with that said, if we go to straight to web browser and right now we will use WinAero Tweaker to customize something on our Windows 11. So the first thing is that we will customize is this right click context menu on our Windows 11. It looks like that right now, but probably everyone knows how it looked like before. So if I click show more options, it looks like that. So with that said, if we go straight to WinIR Tweaker and here under Windows specific settings uh, of Windows uh, WinIR Tweaker program, here we will go to classic full context menus and I will click here enable classic full context menus and click restart explorer. And as you can see, we if I right click on it right here, you will see that we have the old right click menu here on Windows 11 as well. So if you want to revert it back to the Windows 11 default, simply go to WinIR Tweaker again and disable this feature right here. And another thing is for our Windows 7 is actually Windows 7 cursor pack from DeviantArt or simply download this file from DeviantArt and then go to your downloads folder and extract the file. I already did that and then go to this specific folder and right click on the install uh, file. Then right click and click install and click open and then click yes and right now your Windows 7 cursor should be installed but as you can see uh, Windows 11 cursor actually didn't change so to, to fix this you will go to cursor settings and then you will go change the mouse pointer display or speed here you will go ahead and uh, go to the pointer section and scroll down to the Windows 7 cursor and click apply and then click yes and click ok and as you can see we have Windows 7 um, cursor on our Windows 11 but another thing is that start all back also fixes all the issues for Windows 11 start menu and also taskbar. So if we don't run this program as well, I think this is the great program for our Windows 11 because it actually helps to customize our Windows um, 11 taskbar. So you can put it whichever uh, side of your screen you would want. For example, right here we have welcome screen of our start all back program. And right now we have Windows 7 style right here. I will click on it. And as you can see, all things change right here. Then we also have some start menu settings also, but I won't go through all of them in this video. Then we also have some taskbar settings. For example, you can change uh, start or for example, if I put it to the Windows 11, but I think that Windows 7 uh, actually uh, does the job right here. Then combined taskbar button is a great feature for, uh, with this program. So start all back has this uh, option as well. So if I click never right here, you will see that we have this running application indicator right here at the bottom in the taskbar looks like that as well, like just like in Windows 7. Then in the Explorer is also set on Windows 7 command bar. Then in advanced, we also have disable program for your current user. So if you want to, you can also disable this program as well for uh, some specific users. So right now we have set to remastered Windows 7 team and also in the taskbar we have set combined taskbar buttons to the never. And I think this one looks quite nice in my opinion. So if you want to, you can also uh, here uncheck the log the taskbar and put your taskbar to the left or on the top or on the right or also on the bottom as yet as it was on the default but i think at the bottom looks the best and also we have these uh, button uh, buttons from windows 11 we can also hide that as well just right click on the uh, uh, taskbar and uncheck these options right here and as you see it looks very very nice in my opinion but no customization is complete without proper wallpaper. So right now, if I go back to our web browser, here we see Windows 7 official wallpaper. And I think this is the right wallpaper for this tutorial. So simply I will download 1080p version of this wallpaper. I will save the image and put it to our downloads folder. And right now I will set it as our desktop background. And as you can see, here we have Windows 7 on the first look it actually doesn't look like Windows 11 anymore. So with that said, I hope you completely transform your Windows 11 look and also some functionality from Windows 7. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. So with that said, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.